Hi there, this is Dave Burns from Ruckus Networks, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the integration possibilities between the Ruckus cloud offering and the Purple Wi-Fi cloud offering. Uh, Purple provides a captive portal opportunity that also provides a lot of marketing and customer analytic information that is awesome and complements the Ruckus cloud offering very nicely. So today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate the two systems. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to presuppose that you've already got access to both a Ruckus Cloud account and a Purple Wi-Fi account. Um, you can see that I'm already logged into my Purple dashboard, and I'm also already logged into my Ruckus Cloud controller. Um, so hopefully you're also already able to log into these things. It's going to be beneficial to have them both open at the same time because I'm going to be copying and pasting some data between the two tabs. So again, I've already got a Ruckus Cloud set up. I've already got APs joined. I've already got venues established. This video isn't established to show you how to build venues, build APs, although it is easy. Um, we're just going to be focused on the purple integration portion. So for now, let's go ahead and build a new network. We're going to add a network. We're going to call this the purple demo network. I'm going to go ahead and select captive portal as that is the type of network that purple is going to help us integrate. We're going to use a third party captive portal whisperer which is going to effectively redirect our Captive Portal page. That is the page that we display to our users before they're allowed past our walled garden. Uh, we're going to have Purple go ahead and host that for us, and they're going to have a lot of customizations and a lot of integrations that are offered by doing that. So here I select my portal provider. We're going to go ahead and select Purple. Very important to pr pick the correct provider. I've already established which Captive Portal URL I need to go to. Um, it will potentially vary by customer, however, it seems to be that a great many are in region 1, purpleportal.net slash access. I'm going to need this integration key for later, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this, save it. I also am going to need to provide a walled garden, and the walled garden are a series of URLs that your users will be able to access before they are allowed... Um, before they are allowed unrestricted access to the internet. So they'll still be allowed to get to Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or LinkedIn to be able to authenticate against your guest portal, but they can't get to the greater internet at large. So we need to provide a list of the different URLs that users are allowed to get to before they are allowed out to the internet. I just happen to have a list of the required URLs here. I'm gonna make note of my key as I copy and paste these other guys. We'll copy and paste that. And now we've got that in there. So we're going to go ahead and say next on that. It's going to ask us which venue we want to activate that for. We're going to activate that at this particular venue. I'm going to select a specific AP group. Uh, I don't have to do that, but I'm going to be doing that because I'm going to be doing some testing later on. So I'm just going to select the particular AP group that this is going to be enabled on. We're going to go ahead and say next. And then it's going to create that Wi-Fi network. All right. At this point, we should have our new WLAN created. It should be broadcasting on our access points. However, if we were to actually try to connect to that WLAN, we wouldn't get very far because we haven't actually done the purple side of this integration piece. So let's go ahead and do that now. As you recall, we already have our purple dashboard open on our other tab, so we're going to swing over to that. I'm going to go to Management Locations because I'm going to be creating a new venue where we're going to broadcast this WLAN. So we come in here, we select Venues and Groups, I, as the customer, I'm going to add a new venue. And here we can select to use the wizard, which is really going to make this a lot easier. So here in step one, we're going to be naming and providing some contact information about our location, as well as positioning it on a map. I'll save you the grief of watching me try to type all this out, and we'll just fast forward to the good part. I do not need a starter pack in this instance. I can say I already have one, thank you very much. Now here is where we're going to select the particular hardware that we're going to associate with this zone. So we're going to configure the AP that we're going to join to the zone. And so first we're going to select the Ruckus Cloud model of access points. So we open that and we scroll down to Ruckus and they should have Cloud AP as one of the opportunities. Now it's going to ask us for the MAC address of that access point, and I'm going to go over here to my Ruckus Cloud opportunity and get into the access points and see what it is. In this instance, I'm doing this guy, 743E2B. 743E2B. 1805FO. 
0.05FO. And we'll call that the Ruckus Cloud AP. Saving our hardware information should allow me to add more hardware if I want to have additional access points. Again, we have to register each individual access point's MAC address with purple so that it knows what AP is registering a guest's attempt to onboard. So we can go ahead and configure social interaction, or we can do that later. If we were to select Yes Thanks, we can begin to configure our Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Google, and vContact integrations. However, for right now, we'll go ahead and skip that, and we're going to successfully create our venue. So now, if we refresh, I should have a new venue under my customer. And if I go in here, I can su suggest exactly what I want to have happen in my respective venue. I can spe specify access methods, the linked networks that I'm in, where specifically on a map I am based on GPS coordinates, the hardware that's associated there. So by access methods, I can associate it with my Facebook. I can associate it with my Twitter account, my company's LinkedIn account, etc. Um, and then I'll be able to get a wealth of customer information when they log in with those methods. Um, I can also then scrape it with my own um, accounts on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Here, we need to go ahead and copy the Ruckus Cloud integration key, which again, I made note of earlier. Um, I had copied and pasted that to our white page over here, so I'm going to copy it again come back and this is the API key that will allow purple to integrate with the Ruckus Cloud. Okay, so we've saved our purple integration, we've added our Ruckus Cloud integration key, now what we need to do is build some custom splash pages and a custom access journey for our guest users so that when they get onboarded to our guest network, they're presented with stuff that resonates with them about our company, our customers, etc. So we do that by going in here again up to the top, we're going to go to onboarding and we're going to go to splash pages. Now, I've already built one in the past and I'm not going to go through how awesome their HTML editor is when you create a new template. Suffice to say that should you choose to do so, there's a wealth of opportunity in here. So I'll create one and then cancel out just so you can see how easy it is to create a lot of stuff, um, dev develop a lot of content that's custom for your business. Um, but then I'm just going to use a system template because we don't have time to build out an entire system. So, customer demo. It's an offline template. And again, that means that we're going to show this to them before they're allowed onto the internet. There are things that we can do later as an online template where we can then present them with additional options for marketing or for coupons or for repeat visit attempts or, hey, it's your birthday kind of opportunities. Um, so I'm going to say that this is owned by my particular location. This is located in the purple demo, and it's going to be a standard template. So if I create this template, you'll rapidly see that it allows me to do a lot of things. It helps me jump through exactly how it wants me to do it. It's going to show me the live HTML if I need to use it. But it's really a full-featured template editor for you know exactly what you would want to develop and tailor for your customer. Having said that, we're going to go back to the library and use one of the basic ones. I've already grabbed one of the ones out of the system templates. They've already created a bunch, a purple default, bar template, education, etc. Um, you can always look at them just by previewing the desktop or the mobile over here. It's very nice, very easy, straightforward. Um, so a bar template would look something like this on your phone. Welcome to purple. There's a beer in the background. Feel free to log in with your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, or, or fill out a form. Thank you very much for coming. It's pretty awesome and pretty straightforward. So we would create a template, which I've done. We'll call it the bar template. I'm now going to create a custom access journey for my customer. And that's going to be by creating a new journey, naming that journey, and then saying that it's by my customer, that, that I own it and I can do whatever I want with it across all of my different locations. And that's important because if I have the same 
type of store spread out across the country, I can have the same type of access journey across all 500 stores, even though they're spread out at different locations. And then I can offer the same marketing and customer data gathering opportunities across all those disparate locations. So here we go. Fairly straightforward. I can choose the splash template that I want to use. It's going to give me a little display of a demo of what that would look like. In my instance, I've already kind of leveraged the bar template to say that it's going to be the Ruckus and Purple Test Network and we're going to have a beer. It seems like it's going to be great. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and save my template, save the journey, and then I'm going to publish that journey. And when I publish that journey, this will now be what will be presented to my customers when they attempt to connect to that WLAN. So I'm going to attempt to do this to my particular venue in this instance, because again, I'm just doing it on a subset of my access points at the moment. But you could apply this to an individual venue. You could apply this across all your venues. You can apply this across, you know, company-wide. It's, it's very granular and nested. Okay. At this point, we should have our WLAN broadcasting. We should now have the portal that we would expect to be redirected to also associated with that WLAN. And so if you were to go ahead and connect a client to that WLAN, you should expect to see the purple portal that we have created here, this bar template. Um, that pretty much does it for this particular video. We've successfully integrated our Ruckus Cloud opportunity with our purple portal, and we should be able to see advanced client analytic and marketing data um, as we go forward. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a pleasant rest of your day.